Despite all the difficulties, there's a group of doctors in the U.S. and abroad who have been advancing the research on the medical use of cannabis with highly impressive and sometimes revolutionary discoveries. In a scholarly cancer review article published in 2009, there were over 421 chemical compounds identified in the cannabis plant. And within this group of natural substances, there are many chemicals that have significant anti-tumor properties at low enough doses to where they would be effective cancer treatments. That's, that's an important part of this. Is it's one thing to be able to kill a cancer cell, but could you really survive, survive such a treatment? There's a wealth of laboratory evidence that these anti-tumor properties kill cancer cells in a variety of ways. There are multiple mechanisms of action identified by which cannabis kills cancer cells. And they're divided into various categories. And among these are anti-proliferative effects. Normally, that's, that's one of the hallmarks of a cancer cell is that it just keeps reproducing. So if you stop the reproduction, that's an anti-proliferative effect. There are anti-angiogenesis effects, and this means that the cannabinoids will stop the tumor from being able to elaborate or grow new blood vessels to support the growth of the tumor. There are anti-metastatic effects, and that is simple enough to mean that the cannabinoids block the ability of the cancer cells to spread into other tissues. And there's another uh, effect that has a wild name, apoptotic effect. Apoptosis refers to the ability of cannabinoids to speed the death of the abnormal cells. And that's something that is, is especially important in cancer because you're, you're able to hasten the death of the cell without disturbing the normal cells around it. Seth Research Laboratories in California have recently demonstrated that in some tumors, cancer cells are killed by marijuana, while the other healthy cells are left untouched. Cells that stop moving and become still white dots are dead cancer cells. People have a hard time believing that cannabis can have all of these fantastic effects that are described. But what we're doing is we're just stimulating a natural system that's already there. This has been developing for hundreds of millions of years. The early, the invertebrates, the sea squirts, the hydra, there are primitive endocannabinoid systems in those organisms back, dating back six, seven hundred million years ago. The cannabis plant came along maybe 50 or 60 million years ago.